Hundreds of dogs are on their way across the country after a puppy mill was shut down in the Midwest, and some are coming to West Michigan. 13 on your side, Elena Holland was there as the dogs made their journey to a better life, Elena. Well, there were a lot of really cute dogs today out there at the airport. 98 were brought to Michigan, going to shelters all across the state. Making their metaphorical first footstep. It's emotional. Or paw step. This is a big day for them because they're going to take their first flight. 98 dogs made the journey to safety. They've been through a lot. A lot of dogs saved from an otherwise desperate and dire circumstance. These 98 dogs come from a batch of more than 200 from a shutdown puppy mill in the Midwest. They likely lived in cages where they had little access to more than food and water, and they never, never received medical treatment. <laughs> They never have walked on grass. Um, they don't know how to jump down from furniture. Um, you know, they haven't been used to having regular meals, toys, things like that. They're all different breeds and sizes. Everything from poodles to a mini Aussie to King Charles Cavaliers. No young puppies. These are mostly breeders. If you're going to a pet store and getting a puppy or you're buying online, the mom and dad are sitting back in a warehouse being forced to breed. Due to the sensitivity of the rescue, the Missile Pet Foundation is not disclosing exactly where the puppy mill was, but they have been cared for by the National Mill Dog Rescue in Missouri since leaving the mill. Missouri is one of the number one states where puppy mills exist, but they are everywhere. There's some in Michigan. Jen Selfauger and her team at Harbor Humane visited the rescue this week, selecting to bring back. Well, we originally said 20 and we're at 28. Well, they are cute. Being there, it was a little hard to pick. Now these dogs will get the medical care and attention they need plus love. We are grateful that these pets are safe now. A big flight and a touchdown in the center of attention. It's it's stressful for them. And yet it's the first day of the rest of their lives. Now keep in mind these dogs are not available for adoption right now. It will actually be a little while until they are as they need to acclimate, go to the vet and get used to being around humans. So stay tuned for adoption information in the newsroom. Elena Holland, 13.